Hi, my name is Casey Donnelly and I'm the Communications and Safe Sport Coordinator for Bulls Canada. I invite you to join me as I get to know Canada's national squad members through a virtual chat. In this next interview with a national team member, I get the chance to chat with Kelly McCarahan, a member of the senior squad. My name is Kelly McCarahan. I, I'm on the national team on the ladies' side of things. Um, I've currently I've debuted in 2006, so I've been playing on the national team for quite a while now um, and loving every minute. Amazing. So how did you first get into the sport? Um, I grew up playing balls. Um, really came up uh, with with the family so dad and and grandparents all played so um, some of my earliest memories were uh, at the green with with uh, with mum dad and, and the grandparents watching watching them play nice that's fun and why do you love bowls oh look it's given me so many great opportunities to travel all over the world uh, meet some amazing people um, and I think the the social side of things as well as the competitive side of things um, kind of merged together and um, yeah, and that's that's why I love it. Nice. Seems to be a common theme. <laughs> What's your favorite Bulls memory? Oh, look, I, I have a lot of them, actually. Um, so, you know, going back to when um, in the NAC in 2011, I got to play um, wearing the maple leaf with, with my sister as well as my dad. Cool. So that was a pretty cool memory. Um, more recently, obviously, um, winning... Uh, medals at the World Championships are is definitely on on the highlight list, um, and most recently, um, getting asked to play in the World versus Australia team um, in 2019. So playing with the likes of Joe Edwards and Alex Marshall um, amongst the best in the world to be a part of that group was a really phenomenal experience. Cool, that's awesome. Um, do you miss anything about Canada? Ah, oh, of course I do. Of course I do. Um, I, I miss the family tremendously, friends. Um, I don't necessarily miss the weather, but uh, yeah, definitely family and friends what I miss the most. Cool. So what's the weather doing there today? Oh, it's beautiful. It's a nice 20 degrees and sunny. That's amazing. Yesterday wasn't so nice, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> so how often in non-COVID times would you come home to visit? Actually, probably not as much as people would think. Um, I've been living in Australia for five years now, um, and prior to COVID, I went home um, once for a Commonwealth Games training camp and once for an actual visit of about six weeks. So, I've been home a couple of times, but um, look, it's it's not the cheapest uh, <laughs> cheapest flight home, and uh, a lot of time off. We want to do it right, this thing, and catching up with everybody we've missed so much. So um, when we go home, we do like to go home for a nice extended amount of time. Fair enough. That makes sense. Um, so what is the biggest difference between bowls in Canada and bowls in Australia, would you say? Uh, look, I would say probably the, the biggest difference is we can play all year long here. Um, so to be able to play on, on really great greens, the greens here run um, between... 13 and 18 seconds depending on what the weather is like so the greens are a lot faster here um, but to be able to play 12 months a year uh, against a pretty high standard of play for the most part um, is probably the biggest difference. Interesting and has your game improved at all since you've been living there? Well, I think naturally when when you're playing 12 months a year um, against good competition um, at a high standard definitely um, your, your game's going to improve just because you're getting more you're throwing more balls down. So yeah, most definitely. Right, makes sense. And what do you do for work? <laughs> I'm actually currently managing a bull shop. So selling bulls and shoes and all sorts of bowling equipment. Um, so managing the store. So yeah, meeting people in store, helping them um, with their with their bowling needs. And uh, yeah, and working on the online store as well. That's really cool. And you like doing that? Yeah, yeah. Look, it's it's a perfect opportunity to to you know subverse myself in the in the bowls industry and um, and obviously you know that they're very flexible with my competition schedule. So um, being able to to have an employer who's so supportive um, and let me do my thing and and travel around and and compete when I need to, um, it's really really important. That's great. Um, so I hear you recently got engaged to a high performance player from New Zealand. Um, yes. Do you have any advice for other couples or family members for managing Bulls life balance, um, especially when you're competing at events for different countries? 
<laughs> yeah, look, it's it's all about the balance. Um, so when we go and, and we play internationally and, and Ali plays on the New Zealand national team and, and I'm playing for Canada, that's our job. So, uh, you know, being able to, to focus on that when we're, when we're at competition, that's really important. But um, it's also important, you know, outside of competition to, to spend some more quality time together and, and balance that as well. So, um, you know, me working in the bowl shop and he works at a bowls club as well. Um, our life is very much about about bowls and about the game, but I think that especially during COVID um, and the time that we got to spend away from the greens, it was uh, a big eye opener in terms of how to yeah, re, rebalance and how much time you actually spend away from the greens together. Right, makes sense. Well, congrats on the engagement. That's exciting. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so what are your goals for your bowls development? Oh, look, in, obviously during during COVID times, we don't really know when the next international event's going to be, but um, I'd love to win, win a medal uh, at the Commonwealth Games and um, the next World Championships, whenever that may be. I'd love, I'd love to do go one step further. I've won a couple of bronze medals. I'd love to win a gold. Cool. That's awesome. And how has the national team program changed since you first got involved with it? Um, so yeah, so I, like I said, I, I debuted in 2006, but my first national team camp was in 2005. So um, it ran very differently back then with uh, with selection camps and how you got um, actually invited to participate in those events um, is a little bit different than it is now. Um, I would say probably the, the biggest difference in terms of is in terms of the, the team. Um, team size and um, and the new players coming in and out so when I first started there was a big change from event to event with who you played with uh, and and who attended the camps and now there's a little bit more st stability in the with the core group um, which really helps in terms of developing the team because um, you get to know each other a lot more when you get more opportunities to play with each other so that's probably the biggest difference right fair enough and what advice do you have for any up-and-comers or just play as much as you can and ask a lot of questions. So um, if you're playing with somebody with a little bit more experience, pick their brains. Um, they have tons of experience and, and can maybe help guide you along the way. Uh, but definitely get yeah, get sunk into it. Um, play lots because um, only through experience that you're going to get better. Fair enough. Good advice for sure. Um, if you could start your Bulls career over again, would you change anything? I've, I've been really lucky, so I've, I've, I started quite early in my uh, in, in my life. So um, being around the game all the time, there's probably not a heck of a lot that I would change. Um, I've been really lucky to have been given the opportunities when I have, um, and succeeded quite quite early on in my career, which has kind of laid the platform to, to be able to play in all over the world in lots of events and competitions. Um, yeah, so I've. Yeah, I'm really happy with how my how my bowls career has gone. I probably I wouldn't change much. That's awesome, and that's all my questions. <laughs> all right, thanks very much.